we've used ed class in a number of different ways so for some students it has been for a period of time for them to kind of work on ed class to work through various pathways to make sure that they're bridging any gaps in their learning to then look at them returning to mainstream and managing to keep them on site for some students we've used a blended approach with ed class so they might have some days on site some days working on ed class and we've found that for some students that's been particularly useful where they've perhaps struggled with the rigours of a full academic week um, and in terms of supporting students particularly where we've had significant attendance issues potentially in terms of re-engaging them with their education and getting them back on site. It's really easy to access so as soon as a student comes into my room if they've got no work it's easy I can put them straight onto my class I can set the pathway for them um, and they're straight on their learning and um, it works well we want to integrate students back into school so maybe they come and work with Steve McIntyre um, and they'll do some one-to-one -one work with Steve and then we can continue that into a small group, continue on ed class so it's something that they're used to, something that they know and then they run, they run in line with um, school curriculum so then they can go back into class and they're still up to date with the work. I found with, uh, especially with some of the artistic kids, is that they can come in and get logged on straight away and put the headphones on and they don't have to see what's happening and kind of what's going around in the background. They're very focused on with that work, they're looking in one direction and not actually seeing what's going on. So for them, I think they can focus a lot more yeah. than um, wondering what's going on. And if the loud noises are too loud, they've got the headphones on. I think that kind of helps them. Think. Yeah, it's about achievement as well, isn't achievement. it? If you achieve something on a class, it's yeah. a level that they can engage in. So it starts at the basics. If they get the confidence, they can go on and progress. So it's it's very easy they can work independently also they feel like they've, they've achieved something so that's that's a, a massive benefit from using a class like i say the way we're using it is very much in a way of looking at those students being on site some of the time but also looking at re-engaging those students in mainstream education um, we found it particularly useful for our students who you know might not be attending so where you've got a student who's not attending this provision is really, really useful for starting to build up their kind of confidence in their learning. And we've found that that's managed to bridge some gaps for us in terms of getting those students back into school, which previously we had to do that because actually that student doesn't want to come into an educational setting. So sending them to an offsite educational setting hasn't necessarily solved that problem. Whereas this has given them a way to re-engage with the learning. Obviously you can set the pathways up for the individual students. So if you've got a student, for example, who's maybe key stage three, but really working at key stage two level, we can access some of the key stage two work, build up that confidence, and then we can look at then inviting them into school for a smaller period of time to start getting that confidence back in with us. So we found that element of it really useful. I think as well, because I said class monitor, the safeguarding um, effects of it as well. So it takes that strain of school to worry about, okay, is this child safe at home? What are they doing? How long have they been inactive for? So ed class monitor, a lot of the safeguarding. Um, issues with the students so it just takes that strain off school I think as well. I think particularly if they're on the Ed Class Plus seat you know they do have that live interaction with the teacher it is a, a lesson that's being taught it's a trained teacher that's there delivering that content and um, so I think that's incredibly powerful and incredibly useful for those students. I think in terms of a backroom support for us as a school as well you know there's someone there who's contactable all the time your school manager will be there to help you with any issues that you've got and you can make sure that if there are any technical issues they're ironed out really really quickly so we found it quite an easy platform to interact with um, and so far we found our relationship with EdClass to be really positive. I think when you're working with various alternate provisions we look at our alternate provisions and we recognise that not one alternate provision fits all students um, and we found that with EdClass it gives us a great degree of flexibility in terms of timing and in terms of the approach we can take with it um, that's fairly manageable as well for, for certain students so we found that aspect of it really useful. We would recommend Ed Class to another school because not only do they monitor the safeguard and other students, it's they produce the efficient amount of work so you can monitor their activity as well so when they last logged on, when they last clicked the mouse, even just down to the small details and the amount of work that they produce as well is brilliant and it mirrors our curriculum as well which I think just makes it so much easier for us as a school because it takes that strain off us.